Hello, this is Oscar from The Coding Universe, and this is episode 5 of my Java game development series. In this episode, I'll cover using textures with the lightweight Java game library. Textures are basically images. I've googled for an image and I found this texture. I've called it wood.png and I've placed it in a resources folder or res in my project folder for Eclipse. In Eclipse we can just copy the simple OpenGL rendering code, create a new class, call it texture demo and paste it. We're also going to change the name to texture demo. We're going to add two new imports. One is going to import the texture interface found in org.newdown.slick.opengel and the other one is the texture loader class which is found in the same location. You can use the texture class as an object for a variable. To initialize it, you can use the texture loader class and the method get texture. We're only going to use the texture get texture method with a string and an input stream as parameters. The first parameter, the format string parameter, should match the extension of your image file. In this case, PNG. For the input stream, we're going to use a new file input stream. Also going to create a new file with the path name res forward slash wood.png. Now we probably have to catch about two exceptions, which this code might throw. So if I run this, there's absolutely nothing, but since it hasn't thrown an error, I can conclude that the texture was con was correctly loaded. Now for convenience sake we're going to create another method. We're going to call it load texture and it's going to take a key a string as parameter. Let's place return null as the last statement. And in here let's say return texture loader dot get texture png since all our textures will be png files new file input stream new file res forward slash that's our key dot png and catch these exceptions here as well Catch. There we go. And you could basically read this as if we successfully got the texture, we're going to return it. And if not, we're going to return null. So now we can create an instance variable called wood. And in here we can initialize wood by simply typing wood is low texture wood to draw a texture on the screen you also need to enable OpenGL texture drawing to do that we're going to type in gl enable 
gel texture 2D and the initialization code for OpenGL. To draw a texture, you first have to bind it to the OpenGL context. To do that, you invoke the texture and invoke bind. It's also worthy to note that all textures must be dividable by 2. So if I have my texture properties here, it's a 128 pixel by 128 pixel texture. Can you divide 128 by 2? Yes, you can. So, this is a valid texture for the Lightweight Java Game Library. To draw textures to the screen, you first need to map coordinates of the textures to real vertice coordinates on the screen. So you want to map the 0x, 0y coordinate of the texture by using the gltextcord2f method. And we're going to map that to the 400x, 400y coordinate of the quadrilateral on the screen. We're also going to map 1.0. If I say 1, it actually just means the entire width of the texture. OpenGL handles that automatically. And I'm going to map that to the upper right corner. The third one will map the bottom right corner of the texture to the bottom right corner of the quadrilateral on the screen. And the last one will map the bottom left corner of the texture to the bottom left corner of the quadrilateral on the screen. So if I run this, you'll see instead of the white box, it showed us the texture. The code for this class will be in the description. This was the Coding Universe. Thank you for watching. Until next time.